those are all what they call hoodoos. Yeah, when you go walking, you go, you're recording, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, when you go walking up this canyon and, and hiking all the way to the top of the canyon, the trail takes you right up around the base of those things. And you can see, uh, you just stand right under them and, and look up in wonderment at these tall pillars of, of rock that are wow. rising uh, above you for several hundred feet. Is it possible to go up there? Yeah. Up yeah. on the top? You could, there's trails that go across the top of this area, and some of them are what they call routes. They're not uh, official trails, but they're, you can see uh, cairns uh, where people have blazed trails before and just follow from one cairn to another and go over land. Uh, it's legal. It's so pretty up here. And then let's see what else are we seeing here. We've got uh, a lot more flowering bush. These are, uh, I believe, something like a quail bush. And then you've got uh, uh, low-lying blue-colored uh, flowers. You've got uh, uh, some kind of a, of a purple sage over here. Uh, you've got uh, a lot of brittle bush. We just walked by a uh, blooming hedgehog with the vivid purple colors. Uh, we walked by some blooming yellow choya. Uh, and of course, the saguaro stand that we're in the middle of is, is really an awesome saguaro stand. Uh, in the, uh, well, I was going to point out a, an Akatillo. I'm not sure if you can zoom in on it, but there's a blooming red Akatillo cactus over there. The tips of it are red. It's uh, kind of tall, slender stalks. I see them. Yeah, I'm not sure if the camera can zoom in on that. Oh, it definitely can. That's a, that's a blooming Akatillo cactus. Uh, so that's, uh, yeah, this is kind of a good overview of the sun drenched side of a, of a cliff here in the Superstition Mountains as opposed to where we were before uh, where it's uh, more deeper inside of a canyon and you have a lot more soil moisture and cooler temperatures and different uh, variety of plants. Now if you're a bird you can uh, you know move from uh, one place to another depending on you know what your mood is for the time or you know where you found the last best meal. So you know birds are uh, certainly very successful species a group of animals, many, many successful species and uh, birds because they have such mobility and uh, adaptivity. And that's one of the reasons why humans are so successful too, because we can move from one place to another and take advantage of uh, whatever it is uh, we need when the, the locale we've been living in uh, uh, becomes depleted of its natural resources. You know, so in addition to uh, with the water and the plant natural resources, the air is nice and clean out here too. I've uh, been enjoying the, the clean, fresh air. Uh, it's usually pretty solitary in this area. I hear a, uh, looks like a helicopter right now, unfortunately, but most of the time there's not much uh, noise pollution here. So you can stand in this beautiful area and listen to the birds, find some solitude. Uh, so that's a, a form of natural resource. And you know, also you've got the, uh, the potential for groundwater recharge uh, from an area like this. Because the, the rain uh, runs off the, the slopes, they're steep slopes, uh, and works its way down into the washes where it's uh, recharging the, the groundwater in the aquifer underneath. And if you pan the camera down towards the valley, that's the superstition vistas land development project in the uh, in the valley area below off the, the tops of these saguaro on the other side of the parking lot in the far distance that's the saguaro or superstition vistas land development uh, area and the, the water uh, that's coming off of this mountain range we're in uh, goes underground and then moves through the aquifer out into that valley there is groundwater there uh, we don't know how much yet that's one of the issues about this project we'll talk about uh, maybe uh, next time we do a video stop.